a man's house let them know that church is not a place to come chase women let them know that church is not a place to come and chase men let them know that church is not a place to snatch husbands teach them that you can't sleep with girls and stand on this altar teach them teach them teach them that one man cannot propose to four ladies in one church sowing seeds of discord in the hearts of the daughters of zion teach them teach them that the fact that they become very successful and they push their money onto the altar doesn't mean we cannot tell the truth to them when they go for teach them they cannot buy the spirit of god and they cannot buy the altar of god and they cannot buy the anointing of god teach them they cannot buy the presence of god teach them teach them if they have a pure heart and clean hands i the lord will command my blessing upon them teach them that if they fear me i will lay a table before them in the presence of their enemies i will give them a miracle a sign when they go out i shall be with them when they come in i shall be teach them that i make a way where there is no way i cause streams of living water to gush out in the desert place if they will believe me i will open heaven and give them bread teach them if they serve the lord their god he will bless their bread Bread and their water there will be none barren among them teach them teach them that the christians cannot go to funerals and drink pennies and drink beer and drink vodka and drink gin and drink whiskey and drink brandy and then come back to church and pray la 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 bashaha as if nothing has happened teach them Teach them that there is something wrong in having a wife and still having girlfriends around. Teach them that when you say you are going to trek and you are saying the trek is at Kumasi, teach them it is an abomination when we find you at Senchi. Teach them! Teach them! Teach them! has come for judgment uh, to begin in the house of God because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves the house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation deception manipulation uh, seduction the house of God have been a place of ridicule the house of God have been turned into playing grounds for charlatans to come and display their words the house of God has turned into the place where we showcase and exhibit flesh and carnality the house of God now has become the place where the people go to hear nonsense and madness the house of God now has turned into the place where the people go to chase girls and, and go and snatch husbands and go and snatch people's wives the house of God has now turned into all kinds of madness where the people don't feel God anymore the house of God has been turned into the place that the moment you begin to talk against sin iniquity transgression and wickedness the preachers will tell you to tone down because they themselves are struggling with the standards of God the house of God has now turned into the place where the ridicule the holy things like speaking in tongues and the Holy Ghost their content of the gospel itself have been thrown away we have now gone into motivational speaking and political you know rhetoric Dear, the house of God have been destroyed and displaced the house of God Dear, the house of God to have some square from the first Baptist community five amazing we love you and your beautiful wife. Amen. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Sam and his choir. Are you clapping?
Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Good evening, everyone. Um, we are so very happy to be here. Um, because of time, we just want to use this opportunity to wish our mommy um, a happy Mother's Day. And um, to all mothers, amen. Um, I wish my mother to a happy birthday. Happy Mother's Day, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> amen. Um, because of time, as daddy said, we are going to do one song. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we are taking you to Kumasi, and then we do daddy's favorite, and then we'll be done. Amen. Thank you.
Come on, let's celebrate those phenomenal voices. Whoa! Are you so I can hear your shout? We are too much. We inquired the me buku a full night just for you, just for you. You know, um, we nearly had something like that. Some, um, I think, with the Susanna Usu Corral. Uh, just we were trying on the 24th of December, but the time didn't really happen. But let's do a night of worship, just choral, choral music, just. What voices? I'm a make when I'm a friend, what voices are more too much? Clap for them, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Minister Mauli and his beautiful wife have the uh, maiden album uh, over here, Grace in Motion. I have it in my car, it's blasting phenomenal. I have just one, two, three, four, five, or oh, you have more. Really good. And so we are going to ask the team at the back so that we can all have copies and take home. Makuche Miyame is my favorite. Um, the first time I heard it was during Pre President Mills's funeral. But I thought this is not a funeral song. This song the church must hear is a message in it for them. You know, that no matter what it is you find yourself in, God is able to deliver you and to grant you the victory that you so desire. And uh, in my prayers, uh, in my closet, I have sang this song many times and concerning the things that we sang this song for God has shown himself faithful and mighty and true all over the years I am grateful that Sam made you to sing it amazing the lady that sang that, that dance that were beautiful you know and uh, you guys are just phenomenal wow Taliban some Thank you. Hallelujah. I want all the chairs to come in and then I'm, a, I'm going to allow all of us to stand for the reading of God's word tonight. It's going to be brief as a communion service, anointing service, but I'm going to, you know, share the word of the Lord. Uh, and so we'll want to receive the dissemination of God's word tonight. I want everybody to be seated and then we can do that. Hallelujah. Will you? How are you? Everything good? We bless God. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> uh, the only thing I'm going to miss tonight is my wife, my lovely friend. She's been my friend for 20 years this year. Thank you. I'm going to miss her now because she's on her way to Peace FM to join Naneji Skapa for uh, an evening discussion on the radio. So I'll catch you later. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. I can't believe 20 years is here. 20 years. Can you believe that? 20 years. I'm shocked. Wow. But I think you have been a very phenomenal friend. I love that. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's allow everybody to take their seat. Uh, let's make sure that if there are anybody standing, let's get them to come in so that there are no movements in the front and then we can shoot. Hallelujah. So let's rather leave the space there for the people coming and then let's fill this rather for me so that there are no disturbances uh, when we start. Amen. The first song you sang, if we could get it on tape or something, 
This is one of the songs. I, if you have not recorded yet, I think you should start recording. Yeah. Serious. If, if you have not been to the studio, son, I think this is the time. I mean, we cannot allow these voices just to trip No, no. Um, I heard yesterday that lawyer of had passed on. Great composer, great arranger, great whatever, and all that. But the good thing is that the old man was very good with documentation. So you were part of the people he took to the studio. And then they sang some very wonderful some hymns, very lovely hymns and all that. So please go to the studio record. The first song is a prophetic song. Yesu A message like that one, the church don't talk about it. Because you, when you talk about it, you lose offering, you lose members, you lose. But the people go crazy. We're talking about it. Are we losing members or gaining members? Huh? Tell me who is rather losing. The people talking madness and the people talking truth. Who are losing? Madness. in your mean madness. Are you sick of saw you, my name? Are you sick of saw you, my name? Praise the name of the Lord. Shall we be upstanding for the reading of God's word tonight? Hallelujah. John chapter 12 verses 20 and 21 is our foundation scripture for life. Anytime you hear us preaching, this particular one will suffice. There were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. I just read John 12, 20. And 21. I'll read it again. There were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee. They desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. Ask them, Kronoa, you know, you had in Sempa, itra, a yet it to me, you know, Nimwa, a yet it to you know, and yet you know, Bako, and Sempa said, You had in Chirokoma, you know, itra, a yet it to me, you know, Yimwa, a yet it to you know, and yet you know, Bako, Tifia Semino, or say, and qua, if you will, you know, in Tibra, yes. Nahila Fubio, one or bar, sorry, best sorry, a fashion as in, and or bar, Filippo, our Fubi said that we get a little no chain, no vacation is so rare, you perceive who is. And no bar Philippo out of Philippe said they were Galilee and Unchain. No becachin is over. You perceive who he is. John chapter 6, verse 66 through to 69. John the sixth chapter, the 66th to the 69th verses. John 6, 66 to 69. Let's hear God's word. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with Jesus. Then Jesus said unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, son of the living God. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, son of the living God. And someone we can come here, you know, you have in some pub. It is in Sia, you know, 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 no one in Antibu. And I used to see Dumi and say, Mosomo Pesamo Kobiana, Simon Pacho Buana say, Eradi, why in Chenny Becro, would now what down Quansem, near GD, near Honosoni and Copon Concronino. Yes, Bua won say, and Yamina may you do me, Namuba Kuyobon Sam, only you that is carrier, same or ba, no, 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 be you more ama, no so or you do me in Mubako. Tonight I am going to, before we take our seats, I will read you a very thought-provoking scripture and I want you to reflect on it keenly. I want you to briskly reflect on it. This is ahead of everybody and ahead of every soul so please pay attention. The scripture is Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse number 13. As a matter of fact for the sake of understanding let me read verse 12. Ecclesiastes 9 
12. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 12. The Bible said, For man knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in a snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time. When it falleth suddenly upon them. Hey, everybody, you know what I'm Yes, yeah, yeah, I tell you, yes, yeah, yeah. And I look at reflect. Mm -mm. I look at, I look at, you know, and I turn my eyes and I look at why certain people we, we, we started life with a certain of our brothers and sisters, you know, we started life with, and I look critically and they are no more with us. Like Daninate. Like Abraham, the keyboard is of soul winners. Oh, yeah, I want to talk to you. Like Kaba. Like Ebony. I'm talking to you. Like the cast and crew of Osofodazi. SK Opon. Kwajo Kwachi. Fred Ade. Uh, super OD was one of the ladies who was in Osofodazi and defected to Obra. Also passed on very painfully in Kumase. Tonight, may we reflect on our own lives. There is judgment awaiting everybody. The scary part of what I'm talking about is that we are going one by one. It scares me. At least you could group the group leader will speak for all of us. When your group leader say you feed the mudru ham so be any thing, you are when you na woman shed a fatchum, and the Lord will just forgive. But there will be no group, neither a group leader. Tonight I may not be shouting, yelling, whooping, and all that. I am speaking to you to be careful. Just like the song when Yesu Because he will judge all of us and there shall be no considerations. One person wouldn't hear you my yentin a be my fawa He will never say that because of that I forgive you. Uh-uh. You are on your way to hell. And so, you know, tonight is a night of reflection. You may be seated and we'll, we'll read the same scripture. I'm telling you, papa. You are pretty, you are going up, you're going to Canada, you're going in Zimuru, and you can with drum and can can you are going to wine. Why now? We are going to turn on the pen moon preco so a Diani and the Pamedi and the Infam and Grandma Menni. Tia! Who bet you? Rabbi Uraha. Omu and Hakura Umuti and Antes. Well, me pasoria, you bet me a can quachie. Me dan quamma. Listen, this world is too temporary. Too temporary. And I look at the way some of our leaders died. It really, really scares my heart. The way the former vice president, Parkwesi Emisa Arthur, right after the, you guys said we should exercise every morning and live a healthy lifestyle. The man lives exactly according to that. He doesn't eat junk food. He eats very healthy food and everything. You know, and he's exercising in the morning. After morning exercise, he collapsed. 
They check his everything and all that. They resuscitate him and then came back to life. Everything was normal and suddenly went off again. They put him in a truck, rushed him to 37, was pronounced dead on arrival. So my point is very simple. The man is not exercising. Said the the man is exercising. Mumbe brown more more exercising. My friend, the really we make grandma to tell. People with big tummies are sitting here, no exercise, no healthy living, and they are here. And Park was here, Mr. Atta, slim, flat stomach, exercising, Igbo. Yamutu. Tia! So, so it is very simple that tonight as we, as we reflect on our future, I will want to, you know, like I'm talking to you, this is a conversation. I, I will not hoop, I will not yell and all that. Listen to me, there's a very short service. If Jesus, you stand before him tonight, what will he say to you? Especially concerning your current situation. What will be the judgment the Lord will pass on you? I look and reflect at very, very young people who have died in their 40s. Last Friday, last two Fridays, a young man who works with Anglo Gold Ashanti, one of their managerial staff members, a guy was driving from the Takradi area coming towards Accra to meet his family. Possibly just like me when I'm traveling, co called his wife and say, Baby, I'm coming home. I want hot holics uh, with toasted brown wheat bread uh, get it for me in the middle of the night I want to have it when I'm coming home I call my wife my first thing is hot water she knows it so it's ready you know how how did your day go everything is okay how was your day and all that whilst we were coming from Cape Coast University we preached in Cape Coast University in our crusade whilst we were coming home we started the journey at 11 30 we were driving 10 people in a land cruiser we're coming from uh, uh, Cape Coast university i called my wife everything good have you eaten tonight you okay all right i want my hot water hot chocolate and everything get it done for me and then my wife waited 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 i don't appear and then in the morning she gets a phone call and says that your husband's body is at winniba mochre this young man was pronounced dead and the news was conveyed to his dear wife 40 something 44 45 the guy is in the mortuary now i said that was not enough on this country chris atos wife was shot on last friday in maryland in the united states of america 44 years the lady that she went to work just like every other normal person Muntio na atemuo eta wobi enim munti e bra ye ninkaso we are not here forever we are only passengers in transit we are passing Passing. The fact that we have acquired some things, don't be deceived by the deception or the de deceit of riches. Because riches can be very, very deceptive. Oh yeah, I know people when they get little things, they, they even don't relate to their friends anymore because they feel you are no more in my class. And all. You know, the, the friends get excited, you know, and get thrilled when they come to me. Some of my friends, you know, when I knew them in school and they come and I say, this is my friend. I want him to come in. And they get a shock. I say, why should you behave differently because you have seen some little exposure and little breakthrough or whatever you call it please some people go to go to um, holland and all that kind of thing they come back they want us to know they now speak dutch i'm telling you what morgan and morgan said that be a morgan because he and Tintra, 
I wish we will be here forever. I wish. Sometimes I even wish we will be kids. Let's go back to be children. Forever. And I come home and ask my mother, where is my lunch? I wish things will be normal to the end. I knew people who were married couples and now she is a widow. I think the people were telling you on your wedding day through your vows that this life is for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in health, in sickness, until death. That means that as for death, it's inevitable. You cannot take it out of the equation. You would die. One day you would die. And that one day can be tomorrow and it can be it can be 20 years. It can be 30 years. That is it, amazing. There are people very young who are around. Ebony died at 21. Even her 21 birthday did not reach. She died. But I know an auntie of mine who lives in Ebitifi right now and this year she is going to be 126 years. And I got, I was reading the news and I heard the oldest man in Ghana dies. I said, are you crazy? The oldest man in Ghana dies at 115. And I said, where did you get that statistics from? But even my 126 auntie, in, there are even more years for other people who have lived longer who are still living. When she was 120, she came to visit us at Alabasta City. She came to church all by herself. She did her gardening all by herself. I look at her and I said, God, you are amazing. Obi is 55, Nisi is a local. Obi is 120 and they are walking all around the place. It's shocking, I am telling you. So, teach me to number my days. That I will apply my heart unto wisdom. Mami wunu mena kane said ye tie na menye nyansa akoma We are all oh, you are all visitors sojourners pilgrims passing through The prophets of Ghana are afraid to tell you this So God has mandated me to tell you Mu ya mu yo mon satra majio mon satra maje Repent, have a change of heart because very soon Jesus will be coming. Very, very, very soon. Such an imagine the, the people are sitting in church, they don't talk. I mean, how can you make enemies in church? How? My house shall be called a house of prayer. How can you make enemies in a house of prayer? I'm asking you a very simple question. We are going to go to the communion, but I want you to know that I am not ready for a church that is full of acting, comedy, and gimmicks. Hey, hey, hey. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Stop the nonsense. You know, those days, Rodi von Gaza, hey, hey. Some, some fool like nobody had Please, it's a new day. Wake up. Please. Many, many of these were quantra, quantra, different, are fake. Tia! Oh, Betty. Look at Fiona, my banana, no reward. They are deceiving everybody. Sometimes I think about it and I am, I'm, I'm saying the fact that you are a Christian doesn't mean you've lost your mind. The fact that you are born again doesn't mean you don't have common sense. Will you read the same scripture again and then we are going to the communion table. Sister, you, 
Nat uh, uh, the actress was, according to the report I read, the lady was running for her dear life. Screaming. But why will somebody want to kill somebody? Oh. Even me, who is stepping on everybody's toes, I don't think anybody want to kill me now. They send you with a gun. We are not afraid of you. Even the death, we are not afraid of it. Say amen. Amen. Innocent girl got married last year. 2018, they married in Ghana. As a matter of fact, the lady is a mixed race lady, but she's a Ghanaian. Part of her is a Ghanaian. So she is a dual citizen uh, of this country. Married last year. She is still enjoying her honeymoon. Pam! As fish are snared by an evil net, and birds snared. So. Man does not know his days or his time. As you are sitting here right now, from the day your first cry came out, there was a chronological watch the Lord placed on your destiny. And the clock is ticking. One day it will go like, The people who you love and they love and they hug, they will be afraid of your body. They will be afraid of you. If they tell you to, they, you should sleep in the same room with them one day, that will be abominable. Uh -uh. You! Let's reflect. Deep reflection. Remember your creator. Yeah. 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 If you have to try, yeah. <laughs> Before the evil days comes. For therein you will say, I have no joy in them. Because the evil days are going to be many. I'm telling you. My father is 98. I'm the last one of 11 people. And uh, my father still is alive. I visit him once every week. I talk to him twice every, you know, uh, every fourth day I speak to him and all that. Sometimes I even feel life is too boring for him. All his friends are dead. All his family people are dead and all that. And I've been able to talk him through. I'm your mother. I'm your father. I'm your uncle. I'm your brother. I'm your sister. And so when he sees me, he has seen heaven. I try to stay with him. I go, I work on his nails and everything. I pamper him. I go sit with him. He eats his lunch and everything. But that is just for once in a week. And most of my, my family, my brothers and sisters all live outside the country. And, you know, I go once in a week. It means that he, she, he is going to be stuck with my mother all by themselves. And can you just imagine if he was retired at 70, 70 to 98? How many years? I'm telling you. If God decides to give you many days, oh, come on. Bible said, Vanity. Will you read it in English and let's start the communion? Please. Uh, verse Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse number 12. Read. Verse 12. The words of a wise mouth. Verse 10, sorry. Nine, Ecclesiastes 12. chapter 9, verse 12. For man also knoweth not his time. Thank you. As the fishes that are taken. Man does not know his time. As we are all sitting here, we all don't know our time. That is a sad thing. Sometimes when I look at some of the deaths and departures, I, I desire other people's. Go and sleep and then you don't wake up anymore. 
will be better than plane crashing. These days it doesn't crash. It catches fire airborne and burn half of the passenger before it lands. The Russian airline that crashed last week, it, it had 73 people on board. It burned 40 passengers. They said, fasten your seat, but please don't leave your seat. They are in their seats and they are burning. Tyrion! And so when I look at MPP, NDC talking nonsense all over the place, it really scares me because they also don't know their time. They should go and ask Allah Ajete and ask Kwejo Banyuredu and ask PV Obey. And when they finish, they should ask Ochanka Obichebi Lamte and they should consult Hawa Yaakubo and consult Aliu Mahama. Then they should think about their arrogance and their pride. Man doesn't know his time. Your time is going to come. And you will go on a journey you will never return. Yeah. You will go on a journey. I just quoted Job chapter 16 verse 22. You will go on a journey you will never return. Will it come? Now fear one on the bed. Whom fear? Obi awote ya. Whom fear? Ewa no. It's a number. It be true. Now my co-co ya marin san emema. Oba ko o ko ebi ya onza mebi you. Read English. Very quick. Be fast. Way. It's not even part of our stuff. We are king of home empty. English. Read very quick. Job chapter sixteen verse twenty-two. Read. When a few years are come. Your your years are few. And it will come. Then I shall go the way. Then you will go the way. I shall not return. You will never return. Read verse 17, verse 1. Chapter 17, verse 1. My breath is corrupt. Your breath will cease. My days are extinct. Your, your days will be extinct. The graves are ready for me. And the grave will be ready for you. I was in part fun That is why you need to have, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. And have a meaningful relationship with him. So when I say give your life to Jesus, I'm not talking about just going to church. I am talking about having a meaningful relationship with Jesus Christ. He is your Lord. He is your Savior. You fear God and you eschew evil. Not in the poem of Christ, sorry, but I'm going to go to Jama. I'm going to go to Jama. sorry, but I'm going to go to Jama. I'm sorry, but I'm going to go to that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who come to church but they feel God. They come to church, they live for Christ. They come to church, they are a temple set apart for the Lord. Their bodies are a temple of the living God. Holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable service. Man doesn't know their time. Job 14:5. Job chapter 14 verse 5. Every Christian should not forget that scripture. Job 14 and verse 5. Seeing his days are determined. Your days are determined. The number of his mouth, months are with thee. The number of your months are with God. Thou has appointed his bounds. <laughs> God has demarcated your boundaries. That he cannot pass. You can never cross your boundary line. Hey, this is amazing. Job chapter 24, verse 23. Job 24, 23. Read English. Job chapter 24, verse 23. Listen to the word of God. Though it be given him to be in safety. Everybody here is living in safety. Whereon moment, he rested. Relax. At the moment, everybody is living in safety. We all came from very good houses and all that. When I look at your king size bed, your flat screen television, 75 inch on the wall, connected to DSTV, nicer conditioner and all that. You have a well-fitted kitchen for you. I mean, everything is cozy. You've got a nice fitted bathroom, yeah, uh, with a spa in it. It's beautiful. And when you go, wow, we all feel to be feeling good. Read. Whereon he rested. <laughs> Read. Yet his eyes are upon the your way. The eyes of the Lord are trailing all of us. 
They are exalted for a little while. You are exalted only for a little while. But are gone and brought low. You will be gone and brought low. They are taken out of the way as all other. You will be taken out of the way as all other. And cut off as the tops of the ears of corn. King Kam Jin Mainti. Oh my tena ho jojo. Um what tena ho jojo. Now they're not two and no so many panel do I want to ye look at crown or yen. Now so then she wanna quen and if she aquen would do the crown do ye crown as a crabby pet for qua ya jidini we are at the apex and the top of the zenith of the pinnacle kakrebi pet. No one you hope yeah you hey yeah you know what gemus no see one say I'm yes you we see nipen now. No what you chat once a you met Sometimes when I go to, you know, we went to the mortuary, uh, private one, uh, to put in my grandmother. And when we went, the other people who were there and all that, you tell me, oh, some of the things they do is amazing. We'll be on my, to me, for block, building blocks. They had an accident. Some people had sickness and their legs are crooked bent. They put your leg down and they will use the block. Brah! One person was laid to, you know, they laid him in state and his teeth, could not, the mouth could not close because of his teeth. It's blocking the mouth from closing. The undertaker did everything, he couldn't close. So they, there was a senior undertaker, a much experienced woman. And then they went and said, we, we can't close his mouth. So what should we do? He said, okay, everybody leave the room. They all left the room. And then she closed the room. And then, just about five minutes, she opened up and said, and the mouth was nicely closed. <laughs> and, then, and then they asked, but how did you do it? Uh, teach us so that the next time we meet something like that. So oh, there's, there's nothing. He said, do you have some spiritual powers? There's no spiritual power. I carry a hammer with me all the time. I just crush his teeth. Nani ya koti ubi hui ya mwen wun. Ifu nwa ya suno nwa te hui ya na. Wun. Tia! Aba kumonyo nyo. Kuchamo! Wa mentem. Psalm 102 verse 11. Psalm 102 verse 11. Deal with English for me. 102 11. Very quick. Psalm verse 11. Verse 11. Read the word of God. My days are like a shadow. Your days are like a shadow. That declineth. I'm talking to the wise. It declineth. Read. And I am withered like grass. You will be with you. Oh dear. When I look at the beautiful women sitting here and the beautiful young men sitting here, it just when I look at it, it's just scary. Because you are going to wither. I'm telling you, you will turn into an old woman. It, it will amaze you. When I look at all the pretty, pretty girls, nice breasts, nice facial, nice hips, nice whatever. Well, hips and all your hips will shrink. I bet you. 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 As for your breasts, I don't want to. I don't want to. As for your breasts, I don't want to temper with that. At the moment, it is like this. Very soon, it will be like this. You will wither away. Psalm 103 verse 14. Psalm 103 verse 14. English only. Psalm 103 verse 14. Listen. For he knoweth our frame. God knows our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. He remembers that all of us here are dust. Dust. That's who you are. So, be careful how proud and arrogant you can become. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. 
And so somebody say, what should I do? Give your life to Christ. You need Jesus. He came unto his own, but his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them that believe in his name, he has given us power to become children of God. Not according to the will of man, but according to the will of God. Not born of man, but by the spirit of God. He that is born of God overcometh the world. He that is born of God sinneth not. He cannot sin because his seed remains in him. Because he is born of God. As I bring the message to a close and we start a communion, ladies and gentlemen, let us love one another. Because he that loveth is of God. Let's love one another. Some people, you know, the moment you even touch them, you come to church and your skin touches them, or you are in a trot or taxi and you say, hey, hey, hey. But you are dust. I don't know anything that stinks like this body when it is dead. This body, when it dies, you can't stay in the stench for even two minutes. Humble yourself. And then I will read Deuteronomy chapter 6. Verse 5 and 6 and then we will close. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God. So you will love the Lord your God. With all thine heart. With all your heart. And with all thy soul. With all your soul. And with all thy mind. And with all your strength. Read. And these words. The words. Which I commanded this day. Tonight shall be in thine hearts. You will put it on your heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Teach it diligently to your children. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. If you, talk in, in, if you sit in your house, talk and, about it. And when thou walkest by the way. And when you walkest by the way. And when thou liest down. And when you liest down. And when thou risest and up. And when you rise up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand. Listen to that. Bind them. Not alabaster. Not pentacles on your band. It should be fear the Lord thy God on your hand. The word, not a church. The word must be the handband. The word, not the church. The word. I am the Lord thy God. Walk thou before me and be ye thou perfect. Should be on the handband. On the handbag. Read. And there shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. Read. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house. If I come to your house, I must see an inscription of the word of God. Repent for Jesus is coming. I must see something like Hebrews 9.27. It is appointed unto man once to die. And after death there shall be judgment. I must see it slapped on your, on your whatever. You know. And the books were opened. And another book which is the book of life. And anybody whose name is not found written in the book of life. Will be thrown into the lake of fire. Ladies and gentlemen. That means there is a lake of fire. There is a heaven. There is a hell. There is judgment and God is coming too quick to judge you. John chapter 5 verse 22. The Bible Jesus said, the father will judge no man. He has entrusted all judgment to the son. And the son Jesus Christ will judge everybody including the Christian, the Muslim, the Hare Krishna, the Hindu, the atheist and the idol worshiper. A message is almost done. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10. We are done. Romans 10, 9 and 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth. If you will confess with your mouth. The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. And shall believe in thy heart. If you will believe in your heart. That God had raised him from the that dead. That God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. You will be saved. So salvation doesn't come by you following your parents to church. You will have to confess with your personal mouth. That I accept you, Jesus, to be my Lord and my personal Savior. It has to be a personal decision. See, that is why we, we talk about if you have been baptized by sprinkling in church, we will take you into immersion because whilst we baptize you, you didn't see it. You didn't confess it. You did not even understand what they were doing. 
So we will take you to the river ourselves and then you confess Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. We baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. We dip you in water and your sins are washed. Yeah. If you are here and you are not baptized, Charlie, your salvation is not fully validated. Be baptized. That's why in, it, in this church, every month we, we conduct a baptism service. Every month. Today we presented certificates to the last month God. Every month there is baptism. We are conducting 50 crusades. What do you expect? People are coming in to be baptized after they have believed the word. They need to be baptized. We teach them why they have to be baptized. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They need to be baptized. Say amen. Amen. Oh yeah. This is a serious business. Who? Jesus is coming. And we will all appear before him. I'm talking to all the wives. Be careful that your marriage does not take you to hell. Because it is very easy for your marriage to take you to hell. I'm telling husbands, stop misbehaving and maltreating your wives. Because that behavior will take you to hell. Oh yeah. Mumumba, mumumba, mumumba. Unu girl di ya nani? We yini nebe huna manesa season. You sitting in your room and you are chatting with an ex girlfriend, and your wife is there with you, and you can't even say hello. Adai, why are you becoming so cruel? And then you wake up and come to check lala bashkara baha. You better shut up because it's noise. Shut up. Praise God. As I close, when it comes to the communion, it is the flesh of Jesus Christ and it's the blood of Jesus Christ. That was what Jesus was talking about in John chapter 6. As a matter of fact, he started talking about it in 54th verse. Will he read it in English? John 6, 54, downwards. And then he said, if any man does not eat my flesh and drink my blood, he is not mine. Read it. Whoso eateth my flesh Good. and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I'll raise him up at the last day. Read it again. Whosoever eateth my flesh. Anybody that receive a, the part of the communion, the wafer that typifies the flesh of Christ. And drinketh my blood. And drinks the the drink that accompanies the communion that typifies the blood of ha Jesus. Heart eternal life. That person have received eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Dear, it means that the people who died in the Lord, they are not dead. They sleep because they will be raised from the dead. Yeah. Daniel chapter 12 talks about two kinds of resurrection in verse 2. Two kinds. Two kinds of resurrection. Daniel 12, verse number 2. Read. Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. Please, it says, And many of them that sleep in the dust many of the earth. Many of them that die in the earth. Shall awake. They will resurrect. Some to everlasting life. Some to everlasting life. And some to shame and everlasting contempt. Stand to your feet. Let's pray. Clap your hands for the Lord. I'm talking about words of eternal life. Isn't it? I, I bleed in my heart. The church doesn't talk about this. All these quotations. When, when was the last time you heard this? I'm asking you. When was the last time you heard this? That is why I keep telling the people. You can listen to the W3 or the F5 service. And the people who are asking, what is the meaning of W3 and F5? W3 means word, worship, and wonders. The Ws are three. The F5, the Fs are five. That is why we caption it that way. Fresh fire for family and friends. Now, listen to the word. And then go to any church you attend and listen to the word there. And then compare the two. And you judge which one is the gospel and make a decision for yourself. Me and Gwaji may determine that heaven, I will make it to heaven.
when the rain or shine, I will make it. It's a decision. Mayase, Mayase. Ihiyamo chemo mkwachi. Mayase, Mayase. Ayasi, minim ni aya mama. Last! It's more important to you than your salvation. Ayasi. Go down, Pranjay. You are in church, and then you get a phone call, ready for communion. I said, man, I'm in church, I will call you. And then he cast the phone, and the phone will ring, 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 ring. Immediately after communion service, and what is it? I was in church. You are in church doing what? I am home, come. Hey, what the hell is that? We need to use smoke as an ADD. Trasso? A ticket one, I'll be one of the wrong line. And then somebody that came in for communion is going to run from the communion service to, his bo to her boyfriend's house. By the time you go, this guy has finished his one row of John Ganja. Lying on his bed with one leg raised. Hi, baby girl. So the stubborn is baby girl. Why have you been calling too many hours? Oh, Jai. I cooked something, I left you some. Be a free communion, and there's a guy, this list is that by the time you know it's 11 30. So, okay, 11 30, let me sleep tomorrow. I go, oh, communion for Dan Guansom for one week in Inna is watered down by pill. They finish with you. So, you come and receive the life of God and go and you know, throw yourself in the gutter. Life of God, gutter, life of God, gutter. For how long are you going to be clean and back to gutter? Clean back to gutter. Clean back to gutter. How long is it going to go on for? As birds are caught in a snare, so fishes caught in an evil net. But man does not know his time. Once you are going forth and back, one day, the net just grabs you. You are on your way to hell. Make a decision that Jesus is your Lord. Finish. Tonight, oh, you can clap. The two hands are lifted. Close your eyes. This is going to be a personal decision and a personal prayer. And then we bring the service to a close. On to Jesus. Lift your hands, somebody sing. Oh.
Tonight is going to be a personal decision to give your life to Jesus Christ or rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. Now take my heart again, oh God. Take my life and let it be. I give you my heart. Come on, somebody open your mouth. We make a decision tonight. We rededicate our lives to Jesus Christ. It's a time of rededication. A time of rededication. Rededication. prophetically that these wafers and these dreams will be consecrated, sanctified, anointed, set apart for the service of the Holy Spirit. And these wafers will be the flesh of Christ indeed and these drinks will be the, the blood of Christ indeed. On the night you were delivered into the hands of sinners you took bread, break it and gave it to your disciples and said it was your own flesh you break for us. We should do this in remembrance of you. Likewise, you took the cup and gave thanks and said, This blood is of the new testament or covenant which you share for the remission of sins. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Tonight, as we draw to this holy table to partake of the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ, we take it for salvation, redemption. A proper bonding with you. Draw us deeper and closer to yourself. Show us the path of righteousness and the paths of eternal life. We give our lives wholly to Christ. 
Holy Spirit, come and dwell in our hearts. In Jesus' precious name, amen. amen. I'm going to ask everybody to take one. Uh, when we finish and there is still more, if you have any sick relative or anything, can give you some to go and give to them. Pastors, can we serve everybody communion, including children? Serve everybody communion. Please don't eat it. Wait for all of us and then we can, you know. And I surrender all to leave my blessed Savior. television um, if you everybody on GNTV right now you go get I have a word from God for you let's go back to the Christianity we came to we love the world and we love the things of the world the lust of the flesh the pride of life and the lust of the eyes Christopher Mama, come back to life Yem parti ne tine, yem penchi ne chine, yem payanum. The part of the first born again means born again. You see, unu bi an dem born again. I don't play Bob Marley, I don't sing Bob Marley, I don't sing Peter Touch, I don't sing Lucky Dube, I don't sing all these people. Because if we are not careful, our children will be, we will hand over a loose and a frivolous gospel to our children the next generation if we are not careful in the next five years there will be no pure content or tripled and crafted word of the gospel in the next five years from the way we are expostulating from the pulpit at the moment you know we have lost exegetical pure exegesis we have lost that we have lost the correct interpretation of the word of god we have lost that now we want to preach what the people want to hear we want to tell them what will excite them here i have a message for you i am bringing them revelation this is the time of restoration the restoration and the restitution of all things this is the time of refreshing it is a time of revival this revival is to wake up all the dead dead Christians, awake, O oh church, arise, O oh church. We need to come back to the God of our salvation. We need Thania to come back to the God of our salvation at all costs. We want to make heaven. I cannot be in Christ and behave. The church sees the world normal. The world is in church. The pastors speak like the world. They dress like the world. The Asophomami speak, behave, and dress like the world. Therefore, the world has become normal in church. When you preach like this, they talk, who is this one also? Why is he talking obscenity and cynical, capricious concept? Why is he talking like
Shalaka because the message of the cross, the content of the cross, the liturgy of the cross is foolishness to them that perish, but is life everlasting to them that believe till you ascend the honor and want some young Cassia, some at the Mawama. I go, Pamami, let me switch this preacher and begin to talk about the fact that God will make you a millionaire. You will live in Germany and go have lunch in London. This whole place will be a pandemonium because that is the sort of messages we want to hear. What they have to Pinacumo, what they have, what you could not buy, and some Cassa, Bess, and then in Sunday night, wash the trousers, then you could not. And all that kind of thing. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you to do? What do you want 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 to do? What I'm telling you, there is a way. You better hear the way. The world came to church and the church refused to kick out the well. I was telling somebody the other day that when the gospel musicians started going on the platforms of secular musicians, the church failed to talk about it. And so now it is normal. When the church was hearing worldly songs in church, the church refused to talk about it and now it is normal when people who are in church sit on the internet and take up their phones and take new pictures and circulate it around the church didn't talk about it and so now it's normal i'm talking to you about the abnormality that have become the normality i'm talking to you about the absurdity that have become normal in church I'm talking to you about things that were crazy and uh, it, it is these are the works of darkness yet has become normal teacher suffer more now I brought it close you are taking picture of the engine state now when you are come a choir member now was a choir member send the arms to me the church feel to talk about it that is why now so the absurdity and, and the madness of the world is now the church's normality. What I have realized about the church is that we have embraced the grace of God and then in the embracing we have abused the grace of God. We have taken the weightier matters and the sacred obligations of the things of God and we have trampled it under our feet. God will judge you! For the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Had it not been for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ who went on the cross and gave himself as a ransom for us for our salvation and redemption. As a matter of fact, why will somebody need redemption when you are already free? It means that you were condemned to death. God will judge you. For the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. That is why we can bring oil from India and sell it 15,000 Ghana city and call it a Beifosro. Ne Christophone to the Echiri. Om the Nipa Kujina Bola Suni Jareno. Om the Nipa Kujina Sienu Mujare. Obi here near the Sradia Srani Nufo in the name of Akwanchire. Once you miss the light, you are going into the darkness. The wages of sin is death. And unti. 26, no me 25, no me 18, no me 19, no me Hey! God will judge you! For the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Don't bring useless traditions into the church because the simplicity of the gospel is beautiful. Don't bring any cumbersome excesses and emphasis that does not help anybody. The moment you rebuke them then they begin to quote things like we are under grace and not under law i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen god will judge you god will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse say yeah For 
judgment to begin in the house of God because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves. The house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation, deception, manipulation, seduction. The house of God have been a place of ridicule. The house of God have been turned into playing grounds for charlatans to come and display their words. The house of God has turned into the place where we showcase and exhibit flesh and carnality. The house of God now has become the place where the people go to hear nonsense and madness. The house of God now has turned into the place where the people go to chase girls and go and snatch husbands and go and snatch people's wives. The house of God has now turned into all kinds of madness where the people don't fear God anymore. The house of God has been turned into the place that the moment you begin to talk against sin, iniquity, transgression and wickedness, the preachers will tell you to tone down because they themselves are struggling with the standards of God. The house of God has now turned into the place where the ridicule, the holy things like speaking in tongues and the Holy Ghost, the content of the gospel itself have been thrown away. We have now gone into motivational speaking and political, you know, rhetoric. There, the house of God have been destroyed and 